Good morning. Say this is not going to be the day that we had planned, guys. Hold on, Lee, you have to stay out here. So for the past two days, no, no, no. I've had a leaky ceiling. I had this emergency. I would consider water leaking from your ceiling an emergency. Like, you don't know, one, where that water is coming from, two, how it could affect the people around you, and also, like, what if something is leaking above me? Like, I don't know. I just consider this to be an emergency. So I hit up the little emergency maintenance hotline two days ago, and this was, like, after hours. So, of course, I was like, okay, my ceiling is leaking water. I don't know what the source is. So I did the whole thing. They came out at, like, 6 in the morning yesterday, and the guy didn't know what the heck he was doing. He just kept telling me, turn off your AC. Mind you, it's 90 degrees out in LA. I have a dog, like, we're overheating. It's too hot for this. And he just didn't seem like he knew what the problem was. So I did another complaint. I even complained in person, and they kind of brushed it off. I don't understand what their priorities are here, but if there's water coming out of the ceiling somewhere, I'm gonna be a little more concerned. And boom, I'm left with this now. And apparently it's gonna take a few days to repair because there's so much moisture. If it had to come through and cut out drywall that was in there that was soaking wet, you guys. Like all of this was wet. I could even see water damage here. And it was getting worse. And I kept telling them, guys, it's getting worse. I don't know if I could do this for another day. Like I don't understand. There was a um, vent here and that was having a ton of moisture too. In case anyone wanted an update on my life, here you guys go. I was planning on filming some fun routine videos, but that's gonna have to be put on skrrr until they come and fix it. They're gonna bring in a humidifier and dry out the area. Oh, he also told me that the issue was not my AC, which the first guy told me it was my air conditioning, which is why I had to turn the thing off. I don't even know, but I was dying last night. It was so hot. I'm just thankful that they sent somebody else um, who actually found the source, which was a leaking water sprinkler pipe, which that sounds like dangerous to me. Like, what if it was leaking into someone else's unit too? I don't know, but at least they found the cause and I always look at it this way. I rent, so this is not my fault. Okay, like I don't have to pay for this. Um, I really don't have anything to stress about at the end of the day. Like I have a roof over my head, that's cool. Um, and I did what I had to do as a renter to inform people multiple times of this issue. So I took pictures, I have video in case they want to say something different. I'm going to go downstairs and complain to management and just let them know like this is not okay. Even the guy was telling me, girl, that's not acceptable. Like they shouldn't have left you like this for two days. Which car is mine? You played too many games, little boy. Got a little Lee seatbelt. I had to go stop by the management office. All I can say is thank God someone's finally there fixing the situation. She said she might comp my parking or whatever for two months. I don't know, but this is above me now. Is that what people say? Anywho, it's so hot in my apartment. So my Nest, which is my AC and heating system, 
it doesn't work like it doesn't even turn on so they have to look into that as a separate issue i guess maybe it got affected with all of the water rupturing and stuff gonna get some coffee I'm so excited gonna get the coffee on and then we're gonna go to the park gonna go meet Peter at the park and if you guys uh, don't know that reference that means that you're too young I guess it's a venti kind of day guys this is delicious it's almost like you can't taste the espresso but you get all the effects of the caffeine running through your veins it's amazing so shout out to the Starbucks they were so nice I'm gonna go down 3rd Street, yeah. I'm probably just gonna park at the Grove. Honestly, it's free parking for an hour. And, um, a walk from there to the park. Ooh, all the Jeeps are out today. It's just so nice. This is amazing. Wow, I'm so blessed today. I'm just really in a good headspace. I don't know what it is. I think it's because I worked out and you just, there's no way you can feel bad about a workout. Even if you're just there for 30 minutes, 15 minutes, you know, like you just, there's no way you can feel bad. returned home we got here they were just finishing up the bathroom so it looks like I'll be able to get back on track tomorrow if the water dries out guys I didn't wash my hair right now like I just feel gross and crusty first of all I'm so proud of Leroy because he hates exercise he's like an indoor lazy I'm asleep all day and Netflix and cuddle with you while you edit like that's the type of dog he is um, I'm gonna mop and everything once this is out of here, hopefully by tomorrow. Looks like they made the hole a little bit bigger than this morning because I guess it was more wet. And they replaced the sprinkler, which is what was ruptured. So I can turn this back on because the power line was cut off due to whatever damage was going on. Oh my god, I was like piping hot in here. Oof. Turn that fan on too. Why are you so cute though? I really don't understand. I'm having a problem trying to comprehend your cuteness. That's the baby. Okay guys, I'm coming at you fresh out of the shower. Sorry for my pajamas loungewear. I'm gonna start getting ready for the day actually here in a little bit. So this is just gonna be a quick little update on the Clear and Brilliant laser treatment that I got done six days ago at Laser Way. If you guys haven't seen that video, links down below because I took you along with me to get it done so you can kind of see the process if it's something that you would like to do for yourself because your girl's out here on my hashtag skincare journey and this was something that I thought I should do to see the effects of it. And I'm really having a hard time trying to keep myself serious with this big old hole in my ceiling. So I'm sorry about that. Sorry about that. I want to get up out of the bathroom really soon, but I'm going to finish up my skincare routine. So I've been keeping it very simple for the aftercare because your skin is so rough. They describe it as feeling like sandpaper and that's what it feels like. It's very textured. It's very dry. And if you look really close on your face, mine has almost flaked off already, like most of it, so you can't really tell, but it looks like millions of little black dots just everywhere, and that's all the dead skin that's coming to the surface, and it flakes off on its own. So I just went in with my toner, which is this. I'll link all my skincare products down below, so you guys can check that out. So if you don't like gross things, maybe skip ahead a little bit because this is kind of weird, but I haven't worn makeup in six days. Let me get really close. 
care. I'm a little bit shaky after the workout today, but that is all the dead skin. You can see it's almost in dots. I know if you guys are grossed out, me too, but I wanted to show you what happens. It flakes off on its own, so I lightly rub this cotton round on my skin and my skin started to peel off along with it. Rich looks. What's up? In today's video, girl, you won't believe the drama. <laughs> Your girl got special delivery in PR today. Guys, I am so excited. I'm a really big fan of Too Faced Cosmetics Mascara, the Better Than Sex. I have so many of these, and it's my favorite mascara, and I almost like it even more when I've had the tube for about a month or so. It gets really thick, and it makes your lashes dark. It's very voluminous and it makes my non-existent lashes look good. So today, I wanted to actually try out their newest mascara, which is Damn Girl. So this one is supposed to be 24 hour wear. It stays lifted for 24 hours like a good curl. And it has a melting wax formula. Of course, it is vegan. So let's see what this is all about. I'm very interested to see how it compares to my favorite, one of my favorite mascaras, the Better Than Sex. I'll show you guys the brush. Oh my god, the brush is fat. It's like an hourglass Coke bottle shape. So, oh, I did not blend out my lower. Got a little creasing. Oof, she's definitely thickening. This is definitely a good everyday mascara. Like, if you don't want to be bothered with putting on false lashes. I have changed into like sweats, comfy cozy clothes because I've got editing to do. I'm changing my linens for my bed and I think I'm going to run out and try and find food. I don't know if I just want to go to Whole Foods, get something really quick like a green juice and maybe something like a soup or something on the side or if I want to go and get takeout from Earth Cafe. Honestly, kind of want to go to Earth because I'm dying for like a cappuccino or like a cute hot coffee. I feel like I just need some extra energy to power through the rest of today. I, first of all, I'm so proud of myself because my workout today was insane. Like I got in my calories. Look at that, 114 minutes of activity. Almost reaching a thousand burned calories, active calories, okay? Uh, but yes, I just did my makeup as you guys saw, super quick, threw my hair up because I had to film a quick little post for a brand. And I feel like after I have coffee, I'm gonna wanna film something. I don't know, if I can just get this part of my apartment together, I'm not even gonna touch the bathroom because they're supposed to come back tomorrow and it's gonna be a lot of dust and drywall everywhere, so it's kind of pointless to go in and clean it and then have to go back and do it all over again. So I think if I can just get this space together, I'll feel a little bit better about myself. Uh, but also too, I wanted to say, I know that Misguided had re-released some Playboy stuff from their collaboration, which I personally own a lot of it and I'm obsessed. So if you guys wanna check it out, go get some stuff before it does sell out. I'm gonna leave it linked down below. This was one of the um, sets that came out a little while ago and I love this. I know you are not digging up on my mattress. Aha, Leroy. You out here doing too much. Mm, I don't care how cute you are. You doing too much. But I'm gonna let you sit there because you cute as fuck. Ooh, the sun is bright. I am 
I'm on my way to Earth Cafe. I'm so excited. I haven't been to Earth since I was in Vegas, and I'm really craving just like either something hot, like a cappuccino or an almond milk latte or something like that. Something very strong, really strong but I love driving downtown when I know where I'm going. So I just found an easier route to get to Earth from my house, literally straight shot. I couldn't be more happy. Like, I'm just really excited that I don't need my navigation. But there's traffic, of course, right now, which is fine. I really just need to <sighs> namaste. about downtown but I guess we just make our own parking spaces I'm going to Earth Cafe I'm so excited I just want to get all the caffeine in my body it's like the perfect time to come to because the sun is about to set we got our cappuccino with almond milk guys this was only like five dollars that's less than Starbucks. I'm just saying, 5.55 at Starbucks for a basic latte with no sugar and like sweetener. Or I could come and get a handcrafted drink for less. That's really strong. But anyways, I'm gonna go back to the apartment and start editing. Look how beautiful LA is right now. I'm in downtown, but I just can't wait to get to work. Now I'm motivated. Did I get a ticket? I literally just made a random parking spot just parked there, so. if I've talked about these on my channel yet or not, but these are amazing. So I got two boxes, not just one, but two of the mini beef tacos. These are dairy-free and it comes with a corn tortilla. And although it has dairy in the picture, there's no cheese or anything. So I am really excited to make these tonight. So to go with it, I just got some spicy guacamole. I also like dipping this into salsa too in the mood for guacamole tonight. Does this not look amazing? It's literally just, I would say pulled beef. It's not ground beef. It's like really good quality meat, okay? Mmm. So good. Literally just meat inside of a corn tortilla. So you need to dip it in guacamole. Okay? <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,